you guys down on your luck, can't find a job, things are getting too expensive and you feel like there's no hope, have you tried just streaming? Yeah, bro, just do it. Easy money. Well, at least that's what it seems like for our demon lord with this charisma, his buttery voice, his role play of being a demon lord, which is not even a role play, it literally is him. And with the connections with the hacker girl and the massive resources to advertise and, you know, shout out and all that stuff. Our demon lord is popping off. He's gotten the, what's the word? The faith of haters and glazer, glazers alike. His power is back and we even defeated that street thug who just bodied us so easily because he had the familiar. But hey, we're back. The hero currently has like the curse of eternal youth. He's, he just basically exists with any purpose. He, he has no purpose. He's super depressed. I wonder what we're going to do with him. I say that we should just make him also stream. <laughs> just be a hero instead. We, maybe we can have Demon Lord and Hero fucking collaboration streams. And aside from that, uh, I think we should be handling Marcus, right? Like, our, we're pretty powerful. When are we going to, you know, take down Marcus? Let's begin today's reaction. That's right, we left off with the hacker girl, we're helping her with some smuggling stuff. There's like a drug deal going on, I think. Demon Lord shit. Telepathy. Whoa. Hacker suit on. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't say that out loud. Hey guys, I have a million subs on YouTube or Twitch, and then you start doing this shit in fucking illegal fucking world. Let's go. Million people's faith. Mao. Bro. Dude, you're off the clock. You're not supposed to do a VTuber intro. What are you doing? It's gonna be a signature fucking introduction from now on forever. <laughs> yeah. About that. <laughs> they don't know. They're not your target audience. <laughs> Who the fuck are they gonna know? The people that watch you, you know? <laughs> totally separate fucking audience. It's like, oh damn, I guess I'm not that popular after all. Million subs, she. <laughs> Let's see the powers. Longer bitch. <laughs> Is Chad so hostile? Long hair fist, these insults, they mean fucking nothing compared to his chat. Oh man. Man, look at that. All those real life skills you can learn from streaming. Okay. It's like a reinforming, it's like armament hockey kind of. The speed, this power. <laughs> He's comparing these two fucking Dark Souls mobs right now. Whoa. The, cause she can hack the familia. The familia is straight up a liability. Like you think it's gonna help, but if we hack you, you can't even see properly where shit might be. This is OP. Better fight animation than most fight animes happening this season. He had like demon aura coating his body. Aetherhead. These familias, man. Liability. We put a card in as the slot. Plunder 3. It's like an invisible cloak. Is this like a cop? Like a separate unit entirely. Yeah. Pretty much like drone police, I think. Magino Gear. Super OP. Yeah, city guard. Nah, he could win. Oh shit. Yo, Demon Lord, you're gonna need some powers for this. I'm scared, this gun damn thing. Oh, he's like porting. Is it enough? 
But I'm pretty impressed with this animation quality. I love how... <laughs> Yeah, measly million subs. We need 10 mil subs for this shit, man. But like, even now, like, I think it's pretty strong. I guess, um, you know, our friend can't hack the city guard robot thing, though. Plunder 3, huh? Needs more subs. Mm-hmm. Oh, armor on. Demon sword sword. Yeah. We having a sword battle. Like, I'm just so glad this Gundam model thing is not CGI because they could have totally ruined that here. But just seeing hands around, you know, robot animation is sick. Ooh. Yo, it's getting even better. Okay. Like, this is all I'm asking for the battle, you know, the workshop battle arc. Please, Tower of God, just do this. Like, I don't think this is, um, like, completely peak either, right? But this is definitely, like, superb. It's above average. It's great. Can, can, can Tower of God do this, though? Can they, can they do this, though? Maybe we shouldn't have asked. When did the arm get cut off? What the fuck? He already moved? Wait, 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 that's some enemy swordsman shit where, you know, it, it's like... And you don't even see it happen. But all I saw him was do this. And the, 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 the arm was already cut. Dude, the arm and the head got cut without even us knowing. What the fuck? What the... This is what happens when we only have million subs, guys. Washed up. Should have had 10 mil subs instead. To heal himself, right? Resurrect somehow? It'll be fine, right? Any character can't just die here. Uh oh, wait, wait, wait. He's still talking. <laughs> also, the person reacting to this in the robot is a very human reaction. That was not how a robot should be acting. Like that shock? Interesting. I wonder who's piloting it. <laughs> Now he's just getting carried by his fucking robot parts. He just attaches his head back. He's even giving us advice. Dude, he's backseating the fucking robot guy. I learned that from my chat. Being backseated gaming while I'm, you know, playing Demon Souls the entire time. How do you like it when I give you advice after failing? Oh, whoa. What's that blue things? So what we had before wasn't even the real sword? This is the real fucking sword? Damn! Easy. Too easy. Not even full power. Now who's in there? Show yourself. Bro, that Vernal thing, the super demon sword, like demon lord swords, you know, like in Mr. Demon King Academy, whenever Anos would pull out his sword, it's such an epic thing too. So I'm glad that there's such an importance to like his secret OP power. The blue stuff happening here is really cool too. Now it's gone. Who is it? Reinforcements. Reinforcements. They're gonna call out more robots. Suicide bomb incoming? Eh? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what that code was. He heard a noise and he disappeared. Did he just end himself in the shit? I thought he was gonna explode. So I guess it's implied that he shot himself in the suit. Because we did hear a gunshot. I thought that he was gonna like blow up, but... Okay. Kind of. I'm a demon lord though. Yeah, I mean, what is, yeah, if you really think about it, he is the fucking terrifying one. He's a literal demon lord. Marcus. That's Marcus' company. Secret backdoor dealings. Yeah. It's looking like the implication here is secret backdoor dealings with Marcus's company. Of course they're doing shady shit. 
Yeah, what is it? Why does Marcus want it? Is this a USB stick? Is the hard drive? Uh oh, what's in there? What's in there? Oh. What's that? I can't read. List of immortals. Us, our men and women. She's safe then. Probably a list of people that is a threat to Marcus and he's getting rid of. Alive or dead? There are just a bunch of list of hits, maybe? Why is Makina not on there? Because she has a deal that's worked out with Marcus, maybe? I don't know. Maybe she simps for Marcus, or maybe it's just like dead targets only? I don't know, but they're definitely target list. Got a new friend? This bass boost the soundtrack in the background is so beat is really catchy. Wow. Super fancy guy. <laughs> Wonder how much better this apartment is gonna be compared to our little shack that we live in with Makina. <laughs> oh wait, it was hacking. I th okay, okay, my bad. I thought that we were treating this as like an automated, you know, door opening, and he was like, "Are you hacking this?" No, no, no. It's motion detector. No, no. She is actually hacking. That's dangerous, girl. <laughs> he wants to know what it feels like to push. Because we don't got fucking elevators. Back in our shitty ass fucking building, we gotta take the fucking stairs. Let me, you know, I wanna try it once. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool, huh? It's fun. Press everything. Pressing every fucking button. Mm. Secret order? Huh. It'll only work in that order. It's like a secret code. Lucky or unlucky number 13. Okay. That you can't see! Don't stop, stop, stop! Oh, you can sense it. His powers are just so versatile. He touches a fucking technology, he just knows how to use it properly. He can just sense everything here too, OP. Hello. Oi, open the door. Oh, it's open? Very odd. Maybe he's been attacked. Dead body. Dead body, rotting corpse. Is he dead? Nah, he's hunched over. I see blood in the back. Dead. Womp womp. Do we? Oh, he was the old man! He was the helpful old man out on the streets, right? So he was never poor. He was the dude that gave us like, you know, you should go to that place to get a job and shit. Oh, was he role-playing? Yeah, this is Javi. I'm gonna just blame Marcus. <laughs> Do you see the figurines here? Bro, he has a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 monitor setup. But also, look at the anime figurines on the side. He a fucking degen for real, for real. I have no figurines, by the way. I should get some figurines for like decorations and stuff. I only have that one Pikachu plushie, which is like a gift, but I have no figurines. Oh, there's even more figurines here. Holy shit. It's not just the left. It's over here, too. There's a whole fucking case of figurines here and here, too. Oh my god, he has so many. Wounds don't convey emotion. He can tell if there was intent in the killing. So there's no emotion attached, so it's a hired hitman. Yo, the Demon Lord's powers are OP. Could be. Could be. 
Too many coincidences. Even more cases of figurines behind, bro. All that shit in the back. Hmm. Okay. Looking for some secret shelf? Hidden? Oh, oh, there it is. How convenient. Dude, this guy is not so security like. Arrangement. How's it ordered? Sure. Program array. People, people, hacking. Oh, we're definitely hacking the mainframe with this one. One video file. Immortal Furnace. I think I've heard of that. Maybe? I'm already dead. Damn, he prepared for this. <laughs> yeah, honestly, me too, right? It's like a cool thing that you see in movies where it's just like, if you're already watching this, I'm already dead. What I'm about to tell you is about to shock this entire world. What's going on, man? Marcus. Lives off the innocent? The Aether reactor uses, like, lifespan? Okay. Are the immortals being used as like hamsters on wheels to run forever to power this reactor? Or just other people's too? Sure. I don't know. We need more lines, but we can still power it. Mm. And who's powering that shit? What sacrifices? The Immortal Furnace Project. It's literally as it sounds. It's a furnace. Fire. Power. And what are we putting in the furnace as the fire rather than wood logs? It's immortals. The immortals are being used to fuel this shit. Yeah. Damn. So I wonder if they just like forever. It's just like an infinite hell. You don't die. You're just getting burnt up and you're just. You're literally just infinite battery. It's painful suffering forever. A soul can be converted. A single soul of an immortal is the equivalent of many mortals. Okay. And Veltal is the perfect candidate for the next battery. That's so evil. But that's also so very... That is like the most capitalistic evil business owner's like wet dream to have like slaves build this shit then after it then there's like e you can even like recycle it you know it's just like the most optimized use of slavery that's so bad though that's so evil damn firewood no, it's one of ours. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and basically he just got too close to this and he was assassinated for this shit. Hey, that's us. Our hacker friends. Mm, and that's the list that we had today. Target list. They're running out of wood. And then no more power ever. I wonder if uh, Marcus wants Veltal on that. And I wonder why um specifically Machina was not on the list yet. She is still immortal. Maybe Marcus is kind of into Machina. Like, could you imagine that the whole reason Marcus actually hates, you know, um... Veltal, beyond the stuff that we learned in episode one, is that like Machina, like, like, Vel like Marcus 
Loki just simped and he felt like he got cucked because, you know, Machina only simped for Veltal. Who knows? They are, you know, doing surveillance on us, but our name was not on the list. But could you imagine if there was something that fucking cliche of it? Like, I always loved her, but she only simped for you. Yeah, I agree, bro. But here's the thing, once you get rid of this system, like, it's all nice to get rid of the Immortal Furnace project, right? For sure. But, like, what happens after you get rid of this shit? Huh? What happens when you get rid of this, and now the source of the fucking power in this world is just gone? Well, we have magic. Maybe Veltal can use, you know, many people can worship Veltal, and they'll be like, they have so much faith to him, and he can, like, figure out a substitute for the power grid, but... If it's gone, it's, it's, it's kind of dangerous. Alright. <laughs> oh, the foresight that this guy... <laughs> I don't even know who could be watching this, but uh, the only person that could save us is the Demon Lord. <laughs> what? <laughs> what a fucking... Game. And the fact that he already met the Demon Lord. With... Wait, wait. In episode 2, or the last episode, did Veltal announce himself as the Demon Lord to this guy? Because, like, I'm wondering, it'd be nice if he kind of, like, had a little bit of, like, oh, shit, did I just meet the Demon Lord before he died? But I guess he just never knew. He, he just, he just kind of met. He's like, hey, old man, I need a fucking job. Well, shit, here's a resume, bro. Go, go over there. <laughs> Little did he know he was already interacting with the Demon Lord that could save this shit. All right. That was epic. Salute, old man. Alcaz is pure chaos. Power grid. Good. Mm -hmm. Going public might not be the right idea. My lord. <sighs> Yeah, I also feel bad for leaving all the figurines back here, bro. It's just gonna get seized by whoever's, you know, seizing these asses. It's gonna be wasted. I'm sure he would've wanted his lovely figurines to be, you know, inherited by someone else. We should take it all. Surely Makina uh, is not in danger right now, right? Are you there? Oh no. Oh no. They were kind of tracking the drones in this episode. Uh, but she wasn't on the target list, though. Uh-oh. And that's another episode of Mao 2099. And things are getting deep. The plot is thickening. What's happening? Well, the true nature of the power grid, the way that this version of Shinjuku is being supplied, is through an immortal furnace. And as you've heard it, it is literally a furnace. You put immortal people in there and their souls are such great source of energy. That's how this place is getting powered. The box, the cube thing had a list of the immortals that we're gonna, you know, that they're gonna take to, I guess, you know, power this furnace, but they're slowly running out of that shit. Makina wasn't on the list, but she is seemingly taken away unless this is a red herring and Makina is actually just sleeping and we shouldn't be worried about it. I'm not too sure. Veltal's fight scene against the, you know, the robot mechanic thing, it was pretty sick. I wouldn't say this is like the pinnacle of animation that I've seen, but of all the different fight scenes and hype action stuff, this is definitely, you know, above most animes right now. JC Staff is cooking. I thought that they would only focus on Danmachi, but Mao 2099 is getting a lot of love and quality too, which I'm very happy about. The, you know, the fake homeless guy, it, it's, it's a shame because he was such a homie and he was so cool doing all these, you know, secret informant shit too, but let's not let his sacrifice be in vain. And what do we do? I don't know, I feel like somehow the hero has to come into play. I don't know exactly how this shit will work out, but... I think someone mentioned in chat too, maybe we need a subathon, bro. <laughs> maybe we just need a fucking subathon and get it to 10 mil subs. And then maybe we'll have enough power to take down Marcus. That's it for me. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. Then until next time. Take care.